now and then, it's a good idea to just take a step back and look at the accuracy of the tools you're using, whether it's SOLIDWORKS CAD, Simulation, Flow, or Plastics. Now SOLIDWORKS follows laws, the laws of math and physics. So let's take a look at one of the laws that I learned way back in high school geometry. The law that pi is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter. So if I draw a circle and give it a diameter of say 1, I can utilize the split entities tool to split this circle into two segments so that I can define a path length or a circumference. Now the path length dimension was added in 2014 and I'll utilize that here. And with the diameter defined, this should equal 3.14. And in fact it does. Now that just proves pi to two decimal places. Well, by double clicking on it and opening the dialog box, I see the SOLIDWORKS is accurate to eight decimal places. 3.14, or pi, is an irrational number, or a number that goes on forever. It's what we call a transcendental number. A number that transcends what we know about math and science. And I'll leave you with this. If SOLIDWORKS can accurately capture numbers like this, just think how SOLIDWORKS can help transcend your designs and take your products to the next level. Make sure you stay tuned to our channel as we keep taking deeper looks into SOLIDWORKS and its accuracy to help build confidence in CAD, simulation, flow, and plastics.